Hey, it's Monday morning, right? I went to work, so paid for the bus fare. And then the next stop, they stopped. And then three guys came on. They touched and it didn't work. So let the bus driver let the man on. The next guy touched. He said, oh, I forgot my Oyster card and let him on. And the third guy touched. He said, oh, there's no, oh, it doesn't work. And he's arguing with the driver. Joke, right? How beautiful is it? This is Britain. You're welcome to come here. Say that your card doesn't work, that you don't have money in the card, and then just get on the bus and ride free. When the prices go up, because every one of those rides that are not being paid, you, the one who's following the rules and the laws of this nation, Great Britain, this great country that you call it, Great Britain, that you found out that it's not the same. Anyway, so I thought that was that. And then three more stops later, at a, at a junction, the bus turns and then another two guys turned up. I said, oh, do I have to pay? And it gets up and it goes to the top floor and the bus driver is banging on the shield that is protecting him. Of course, people spit at the drivers and abuse them. So they're in a box in the buses in the UK. If you're in China or if you're in Japan or Asia or India, the bus driver is not in a box because they don't tolerate any of this nonsense, I'm telling you. Anyway, I thought that was it. I was supposed to do this video yesterday because yesterday was Monday. And I'm doing it today because I have just been to the shop downstairs to get some food, right? Yes, the food price is going up. Not because it's a recession, this session, that session, this session, and all the other sessions. No, because people here in Britain are free to walk into a store, supermarket they call it, put all the stuff in their bag and walk out of the door, challenging the security guy just now, literally just now. So I thought maybe I'll bring both of those experiences together. Anyway, last night as I was coming back from the airport, again, five kids got on, challenging the driver that they haven't got the Oyster card. They ignored them. They just flipped the driver like this. Ignored it just like that. Uh, five of them. That's five fares that they should be paying. Yes, they should have had the... Even if they are young children with travel cards, they have been given to them to travel, get to school and so on. This is at six o'clock in the evening. Anyway... This is an express bus and it goes and stop at the next stop. Two guys, adults, get on the bus. They do it day in, day out. And I happen to be on that particular bus, particular time. They call it right time in the right place on the right motion, right? Anyway, and then seven free rides whilst everyone who's working all these folks are sitting at home, playing their game machines. Not only that, the parents so-called, those kids are supposed to do their homework and stuck at home and do something worthwhile, that they wouldn't be the, the next law-breaking citizens of this nation. But that's, that's how it is. I have no scripture, I'm no politician, I'm no theologian, I'm just an idiot who seems to follow the rules and pay the price increases in the supermarket to your annual train fares going up, bus fares going up, you complain. But you're not doing anything. You should hold the politicians, so-called the leaders of who you elect, to look after the interests of your citizens on this nation. So as every other nation, they should, their citizens, their leaders should look after their own people instead of encouraging this backdoor situation that we're going to face, an absolute dire situation on this part of the continent. And we're going to be backwards hundreds of years, whilst the rest of the nations that are rising, so-called, then they're blaming for them rising. Of course, they're rising because they're smart. The citizens are hardworking. Citizens are being 
directed to follow a rule of law, your freedom, your free speech is a dog's bark is get heard more than your free speech or your words of fluffy nature of constructs that has been so wonderfully colorfully decorated in the political spectrum in Europe to America to Canada to Australia so called the western world there's no such thing as western nations anymore it's more like absolutely at the bottom where the law abiding honest hard working truly it's it makes it makes you feel why why would one needs to follow a rule when everyone's got their ways of doing things feeling free absolutely free do you want me to express any more in another words it stinks nothing stinks more than the rotten way of human conducted conduction or conduct on this so called affluent rich educated intelligent societies that we look up to don't ever look up because what's going to come down on you is just shit thank you